Hey y'all, welcome to the Sweet Chariot Travel Channel or welcome back. I'm Chinita and in this travel vlog, I'll be exploring the city of Yogyakarta in Java, Indonesia. In this vlog, I'll be taking y'all along with me to the Royal Palace, museums, a Baktik gallery, and so much more. It was truly an amazing, surprising day. So I hope y'all enjoy this video and I hope this video helps others. If it does, don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel if you are interested in solo travel or if you would like to follow my solo traveling journey. to go to the palace but it looks like it's a parade that's about to happen so i'm gonna wait for the parade and then go to the palace and see how that is there's a lot of people out here so it must be a really good parade y'all i'm cooking i am cooking honey i see why people have on long sleeves it's like if even though this is on my head i feel a lot cooler with this being on my head and I think if I had on a jacket, I would feel a lot cooler because the sun wouldn't be directly hitting my skin. I'm going to go to the palace first and then I'll come back to stand here for the break. Yeah, so that's how I'm going to go. The palace is this way. This parade is the one that I was waiting for outside. So I would have been waiting outside just to come in here and miss being in the shade. I guess people don't want to pay, it's 30 rupiah to come in here, so I guess people don't want to pay the 30 rupiah. It was so hot out there. I had my little, I had my bag. I'm missing the parade, huh? not what I was expecting when I went to the Royal Palace so I knew I wanted to go to the Royal Palace to see a Javanese art show and to take a tour of the palace however they were having a celebration for the Prophet Muhammad's birthday so this event starts at the Royal Palace and then it ends at the Great Mosque courtyard the food that the guards are carrying symbolizes prosperity and is given to the people in the crowd. So once the guards lower the cone mountains of food at the courtyard, anyone who is able to grab the vegetables is considered to have good luck. Over 80% of the population is Muslim in Yogyakarta. So while I was watching the celebration, I was very surprised to see the European influence in the guards' uniforms. I later learned that the city was slowly colonized by the Dutch then invaded by the British, the Japanese, and also invaded by the Dutch. Wow. So it's green beans, eggs, some fried foods at the top, some chilies. Wow. Yeah, it is, yes. That is cool. Yeah. Some from McDonald, some from the land. Mm -hmm. How long is this? So, to do a shirt like that, how long would it take? Oh, like this, it may be one week. One week? This is not, not, this is not handmade. Oh, okay, okay. This combination stamp. Mm -hmm. Printing. Mm -hmm. See? So this was printed, but this yeah. was handmade. Yeah, so combination. Gotcha. That was cool. See? So many dots, many work. Batik. Batik. Tick, 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 batik. Tick, 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 batik. 
Is that the now? Is, is that the sound that it makes? Is batik? Batik, many tick, 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 tick. Oh, okay. <laughs> That's where the name comes from. So we call it batik. <laughs> Thank you for bringing me here. So when after waxing finish and then trying the color, now is the artist. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> so you can explain you. Okay. Hello, yeah. United States. Yes, in before. So you crazy? I'm with my friend. I am the. The audio is muffled because my hand was covering the mic. So this artist um, was explaining to me how to tell the difference between authentic batik and printed batik art. So if you notice with the painting, with authentic batik art, you can see the painting, the portrait from the front and the back. It'll look the same. The price depends on the size of the painting and the detailing that went into it. So if you choose to purchase a painting, they will give you the fabric in a manila envelope and then you'll have to reframe it. They don't give you the frame. Oh, that one's very different. That one's very unique. Let's see. Oh, that's nice too. This one's really pretty. Hello. Do you need to see the ticket? For help. Okay. All right. Thank you. Y'all, Indonesian people are really, really kind. Okay. Every time I think they're trying to stop me for a scam, they prove me wrong. Okay. Hello. Yeah. Like every time we went to the Batik clothing place. And beforehand, a guy came up to me, he was telling me about just some things here in Java, in Yogyakarta. He was telling me some things here in Yogyakarta. So I'm like, he must be like someone who's trying to get me to pay him to be my tour guide. So I really didn't say too much to him, but he was just giving me information about the city. And then as I was leaving out of the palace, a guy he had stopped me. <laughs> A guy he had stopped me and he was telling me about the Batik clothing. So he was like, come this way, come this way. And you really not supposed to like follow somebody. Like they come up to you, but he said he works at the museum. He showed me his tag or whatever. So I followed him and we went to the Batik uh, shop. Um, and then while I was walking to this museum, um, a guy, he kind of stopped me. He was like, uh, where are you going? You going to the museum? I was gonna keep walking, but he was like, I was like, I'm gonna go to the carriage museum. He's like, it's this way, it's this way. And I looked and it was the carriage museum. So yeah, you just never know. Like while I've been traveling, I've had to like have my guard up, but I've noticed in Indonesia, it's like, there are some genuine people. There are genuine people. I have met some people, mainly when I was in Puda, where my experiences weren't so great, but yeah. I have to be, I don't know, it's like I still have to be on guard, but not expect the worst from people. And yeah, it's a whole learning thing, especially coming from the States or just traveling and people wanting to like, you know, take advantage of you or get money from you. And it hasn't been that way. I'm sweating so hard. But yeah, I'm going to tour this museum. And after this, I'm going to go to the market after this. So yeah, let's go.
Yeah, like the eyes. The eyes just like pop out as you, like a glare. Oh, look at these. These look a lot older. Wow. I love seeing all the metals. The metals and the bakti. <laughs> Batik, I think. The cloth. They were royalty. We had, we played with something like this when I was in elementary school. It was with marbles though. This one is with the shells, the seashells. This is a nice museum. Like if you want to see different artifacts for Jakarta or Java, this is a nice museum. Uh oh. So it says, um, the practice of bhakti making is also considered a meditative practice to shape one's soul and to achieve an ideal mental state for Javanese women at the time. Yeah, it definitely takes some um, patience to do all of this. Wow, that's beautiful. I definitely have to get me some bhakti clothing, clothing today. Now, if it's real, I don't know. It may not even be real, but it may be um, printed bhakti. It may not be actual um, authentic bhakti, so. So if I go this way, keep going straight, it will lead me to the market. Look at the carriage. Aww. I don't know. It's like I don't like riding on horses. I realize that when I was in Ecuador. It wasn't a fun experience for me. Maybe I gotta try it another time with another horse. It wasn't it wasn't too fun for me. This is really pretty. Oh, I don't wanna be in her picture. See, that's what I'm gonna get. I'm gonna get a sarong. I'm gonna get a, like a sarong for tomorrow. I know I wanna take pictures tomorrow at the temple. So that's mainly what I'm gonna be looking for at the market. Oh, uh, that's just a parking garage. Nothing else. How am I gonna get across the street? Oh my goodness. It should be a traffic light. I think this is the time I was supposed to run across the street. There is no traffic. Oh look, yeah, I just have to walk across. Dangerous. I've made it. I don't even know where to start. Hello. And they have like within the aisles. So you can go down that way too and there's even more. I wonder if this is linen or cotton. <laughs> Should I get one? I'm not gonna wear one of these. They're beautiful though, look at this one. That one's absolutely beautiful. I should get one, even though I don't think I would wear it though. I really doubt that I would wear it. I don't want to buy something I'm not going to wear. I 
I think they're nice though, especially if it's great material. So this place, if you're looking for some bhakti clothing, this is the place. But I, this is not real bhakti. This is more printed bhakti. So all this stuff is definitely printed. I don't know for sure, but I'm just assuming that all this stuff is, not all this stuff, but majority that's on sale, like the stuff that's under 100,000 rupiah, I'm pretty sure that that's printed. So all this stuff is probably printed. Hmm, what's over here? I may stop and get me a lemonade. Uh, no, I'm not gonna eat nothing. Yeah, because I'm going on a food tour today. I'm really excited about that. I love a good food tour. I'm outside of the market. So this is door pork. Why did I think that I had a food tour today? I was so excited. I was thinking that today I had a food tour, but I don't, so. Yeah, I'm gonna have to go find something to eat. I was gonna eat here, but I didn't like how it looked. So, I'm just gonna wait to eat somewhere near my um, apartment. So right now I'm waiting on a grab. This might be my grab right now. Alright y'all, that is the end of this vlog of my first day in Jakarta. And like I said, the locals were very helpful, <laughs> very friendly, and I also felt safe recording while I was just walking around the touristy areas and just walking down the street. So it was a it was a good day. I hope y'all enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to hit that like button, share the video, and subscribe to the channel. Thank y'all for watching. Until next time, bye.